Afternoon everybody, another quick video from UK Radio Scanners. Check out the Facebook group or the YouTube page. It's going to be another shaky video I'm afraid. I bought myself a tripod for the phone and uh, <laughs> I have no idea where it's gone. But uh, reading on a few of the forums, a few people have been saying can you use um, one antenna on two radios and quite often the question comes up is can you just use one of these and the general answer is no but we can do a little experiment today to see what happens so the, the best solution really for using um, single antenna on multiple radios is I don't know if you can see it it's from cross-country wireless and it's a multi-coupler so you can see that's the output five outputs one input run some power to it <coughs> And that amplifies the signal slightly, so uh, it'll uh, so any loss when you split it five ways is sort of cancelled out really. Just for reference, if you're interested in buying one, and I'm not linked to them in any way, <laughs> uh, 117.95 is the cost. But what we're going to do today, we're going to do an experiment with this little bad boy. And see what happens so um unfortunately uh, down in the southwest today it's uh, fairly quiet on air band i am down here just outside exeter you see we've got a bit of stuff heading out west further north of us i'm not sure how well we'll pick stuff up today but we're gonna have a go um what I'll do, I'll just show airband running for a little bit, and then I'll try and do a direct comparison on a on a local signal. But uh, as you, as you would expect, with uh, it being fairly quiet up in the air, we're not getting too much in the way of signals coming through. Where's he? That's right now, eight uniform November. <laughs> So he was, uh, here's me down here, where am I? Here's me down here, here's Ryan, uh, 8 Uniform November. So he was uh, 200 miles out, <laughs> so a fairly weak signal. So we're not getting too much, but what I'm going to do uh, is I'm going to change over to, uh, God, PMR 446, that's unusual. I'm going to change how much your radio, let's hold it there. I need to check if we get a signal off a local repeater. I'm sure the repeater's gonna repeater keeper's gonna love me today. I've got the just trying it out on the ICOM 9700. <clears throat> he says. <clears throat> Let's see what we get. A 2E1 VAR just checking access. Okay, so we've got it's not a great signal meter on the Bearcat, but one, two, three, four, five bars. Yep, so a fairly solid five bars there. So the setup around the back, excuse my dodgy wiring. So we've got um, Uniden 15X here and an 800XLT here. This is the American version, this is the European version. There's very little difference between the two. So around the back at the moment, we have got the lead from the 15X going into the Spectrum Communications preamp. I know it's the wrong end, it's there for a reason, and then the antenna feeds straight into that. So what I'm going to do now, I'll have to put the phone down to do this, is I'm going to put this socket, or this splitter, onto here, and then I'm just going to connect up the two radios. So it's going to go dark for a moment. Just while I pop that down, I'll see if I can find my tripod for the next video. <clears throat> Talk amongst yourselves. Okay, okay. So now the output goes, so we've got one here. And we've got one here going to the back of the two unidens. So we had five bars, 
2E1 VAR testing access. And we've got five bars. I'm just going to turn the other scanner on, see if that affects it. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to get, we're on bank seven, one. Let's help for the somebody chatting, that's uh, G7AKJ <laughs> nattering on Simplex. That's useful. Uh, where are we? So we can see he's coming through the same strength on both radios. Spin up the preamp off. So that makes a bit of a difference. And I remember driving down this uh, single track road into the village with some stores at the back. And so I'm just going to go back to uh, the repeater that I was on. Oops, it's scanning. Brilliant. Uh, so let's see if it comes through at S5 on both radios. The repeater heater is going to love me. I promise this is the last one. 2E1 VAR, checking access. That's interesting. Look at the signal on that one. Versus... Cheers, Baz, thank you. That's typical. That's interesting, isn't it? So the same signal, it appears to apply some attenuation. I think you can see the same there, can't you? Look. Don't know why it would be like that. I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Let's turn that down. I'm just going to swap the patch leads over. I just wonder if there's a patch lead problem there. Because you'd expect on the same radio, the same signal to come through through the strain, same strength, wouldn't you? So, give me one second. So they're swapped over now. You can see the second radio is still receiving on a lower signal. Isn't that interesting? I wonder why that is. No, de no definitive answers from this uh, <laughs> from this video. Just an example of what can happen, really. I'd love to see in the comments if anybody can explain to me why. It would suggest that the second radio uh, is a bit deafer than the uh, first radio. Let's try uh, doing a quick scan on airband. Same for this one. See what comes through. Let's make sure we're scanning the same banks. We are. So let's see what we get. Probably nothing, though, in my luck. There's a few planes up there. I will pop a request. Just for our descent planning, um, can we expect to get handed over to Big and Hill in the overhead, or are we going to go typical. to typical. <laughs> There's a breast frequency, uh, French breast control, which is very close to Pembroke sector. South Wales, and uh, you get the same aircraft on both sometimes. They're just scanning slightly out of sync, unfortunately. A slightly better signal on the first one. Oh, no, 
Same signal. I'm going to do. I'll have to do some investigations to understand what was going on on a two meter repeater, because uh, it was very strange that they were such different signals. Even when I swapped the uh, antennas over. Okay, there we go. So, like I say, no definitive answers. Um, yes, you uh, can <laughs> use a T piece rather than um, rather than using uh, a proper multi coupler. Uh, it didn't seem to affect the signals on air band. It did seem to affect them on um, on two meters for some reason. So, I've got some digging to do now to understand <laughs> why my radios are receiving on different signals. No definitive answers. But just a bit of a test. Uh, if you want to give it a go, it looks like you'll get away with it. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to join the Facebook group, UK Radio Scanners, and uh, look us up on YouTube. Like and subscribe. Look forward to seeing you in the next video, when hopefully I'll have a tripod.